Okay, in this video we're going to talk about finding the distance between complex numbers that are given in trig form, and we're just going to do a pretty standard example. Um, there's a couple things that you need to know before you do this. So the first one is that you need to know what R cis theta stands for, because that's probably the way it's going to be given. Um, and so R cis theta is an abbreviation of R times the quantity cosine theta plus I, the imaginary number, times sine of theta. And when you have this, uh, you have to know what r and theta are because uh, those are really important for this particular problem. I mean, in general, you really want to know what they are. So r is the distance from the origin. Um, and so we're going to want that to be positive. In the example that I'm doing here, it will be positive. Uh, if not, you kind of mess around with that polar form of the complex number where you add or subtract pi from the angle and then flip the sign of r. Uh, it's kind of a, a more complicated thing that I want to deal with right now. And then we need to know what theta is, but theta is just the angle formed with the positive x-axis. So theta is uh, pretty much what you've been dealing with in trig the entire time you've known trig. Um, and then we also need to know the law of cosines, which maybe is a little surprising, but you'll see as we develop kind of a figure that we can work with that the law of cosines is very relevant to this problem. So that's going to be c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and then cosine of c, which is the angle opposite side c. Um, and in particular, we're going to end up solving for c in this case. So you might just remember c is the square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Hopefully you use the law of cosines a lot. And so it's something that's kind of just in your memory. If not, uh, this is good review as well. So let's take a look at the problem that we're going to do. We want to find the distance between 2 cis 15 pi over 16 and 6 cis 13 pi over 48. So those are weird angles, but I chose them for a specific reason that you'll see as we do the problem. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a, a figure or a graph. So I need this. And the first number, it's 2 cis 15 pi over 16. So 15 pi over 16 is really close to pi, so this is going to be really close to the negative x-axis that I have here. And it's going to be 2 units from the origin. I'm not really concerned about the distance, to be honest. I just want to get it in roughly the right place. Um, and then our second complex number is 6 cis 13 pi over 48. So 13 pi over 48, uh, 12 pi over 48 would be pi over 4. This is a little more than pi over 4. And then I have to be 6 units away from the origin. Um, and again, I'm not super concerned with that, but I'm going to make it look like it's further away than the other one. So let's say there. Okay, so so far nothing really obvious. I want to find the distance between them, but before I do that I want to add some things to this figure. So I'm going to add this, um, and I know that, that the length of that segment would have to be 2, and then I'm going to add this, and the length of this segment would have to be 6. Um, and then what I'm going to add is the segment connecting them, and that's actually what I want to find. I want to find the length of that segment. And so it's a triangle, and I also know that the angle formed here is 15 pi over 16, and the angle formed here is 13 pi over 48. So what I can do is, looking at this angle, if I actually just subtract those two, that'll give me that angle in the triangle. So I'm going to call it theta, and so theta is the bigger angle minus the smaller angle, so 15 pi over 16 minus 13 pi over 48. And now here is the reason that I chose these angles when I made up this example. Um, if you combine these, uh, 15 pi over 16 is the same as 45 pi over 48. And then 45 minus 13 is 32. So this gives me 32 pi over 48. And 32 pi over 48 actually simplifies down to 2 pi over 3, which is a unit circle angle, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, so... I have theta, I have the, the 2, that side there, I have the 6, that other side. So what I actually know right now is I actually know side angle side for this triangle. So since I have side angle side, um, that's a classic law of cosines problem. So if that's the case, I'm going to call the missing side C and say that C squared is equal to, so it's going to be A squared, so I'm just going to start with 2. So 2 squared and then plus 6 squared and then minus 2 times 2 times 6 for the side and the side, and then cosine of the angle between them, which I just found was 2 pi over 3. 
And then what I want to do is I want to solve for c. So c is the square root of, there's a lot of things that I can just simplify here. So I know 2 squared is 4, 6 squared is 36, 2 times 2 times 6 is 24. And then uh, I have to deal with the cosine of 2 pi over 3, but hopefully you just have that memorized. It's a pi over 3 angle, so cosine is 1 half. It's in the second quadrant, so it's negative 1 half. So fill in negative 1 half. And then this I can just simplify. So 4 plus 36 is 40. And then um, I want to add 12 to that, so 52. So C is the square root of 52. Okay, so that's an example of how we can find the distance between complex numbers that are given in trig form. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.